If you didn't know, there is a science to acoustic treatment layout, but you rarely see it in use. Most people go with conventional placement options because the room doesn't care about science. Placement options are often limited and the costs need to be controlled. This is definitely the case in my living room cinema. And today we're going to test to see if something is actually better than nothing. I have my existing sound panels along with these new scatter plates that I made that will help us test the effectiveness of the designer combo panel opposed to the plain absorption or no treatment at all. Now there are combo panels that have actual calculated patterns. These panels are more science based and have patterns that actually diffuse the sound. But do these panels actually show a difference in room measurements? The best way is to use the human ear through real time testing, but we're going to use acoustic measurement software to test and compare the results visually. A visual graph may even show more than what our ears can actually hear. As far as room acoustics go, an open concept living room presents special challenges in that all the surfaces can't be treated and all the sound reflections can't be controlled well. Every little bit of room treatment should help. Let's see if they actually have any effect or if this is all just snake oil. I purchased these one inch panels. Some have a one inch spacer and others don't. The two ceiling panels were built here and have an additional two inches of space between the panel and the ceiling. I also built these scatter plates in this video right here. I'll put a link to the video in the description. And stay tuned to the end of this video to see the cool design ideas for these panels that I came up with. Now I also came up with a way to add or remove these panels quickly for easy A-B comparison testing. I also created a way to add these to your existing acoustic panels without damaging the fabric covering. So make sure you check out that video to see it all. All right, let's do this. Let's start with a clap test. All the panels are removed and the camera mic is near the listening position. Now, while we have these panels removed, let's use a free room measurement program called Room EQ Wizard to take a sound measurement at the listening position. We'll be looking at the waterfall plot and the RT60 decay times to get an idea of how long sound bounces around the room before dying out. Shout out to Home Theater Gamer on YouTube for putting us on to this overlay TOPT view. This is a pretty cool graph and is easy to compare and easy to understand. Next up, let's redo the clap test with all the absorption panels installed. Now, let's get our next room measurement with all our absorption panels in place. Now, I'll temporarily install the scatter plates to the absorption panels, redo the test, and take new measurements. Okay, now let's compare starting with the audible clap test. So we're going to start here. First of all, we're going to start with the, uh, I want to show you the reading for the absorption panels. This is the absorption panels and this is the SPL in the room, the loudness of the room on the back wall, on the rear wall with the panels only. That's the absorption panels only on the back wall and the two that are overhead near the back wall. That's what this looks like. So now when we, we uh, I want you to compare, I want to compare this to no absorption and once I took those panels off the wall this is what the SPL looked like 
And this is what we expect. It's going to be louder. There's more reverber reverberation around the room. So those frequencies are going to be louder because less of them are being absorbed. So the green that we see right here, that is the SPL without any absorption panels at all. So there's a bare walls as far as the area goes in the back of the room. So that's bare. So look at this right here. The scatter panels added to the absorption panels. We're going to add that to the graph here. Look at that. That is actually picking up a louder signal than even the bare walls. This is picking up a louder signal than even the bare walls. This is the, the loudest one right here. Now when we go to our RT60 and we're going to add, we're going to go to overlay here. We're going to our RT60. Now we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to take all of these off here. And so we're going to start with the absorption, right? Like we did in the, on the SPL. We're going to start off with the absorption panels first. That was the quietest one in the room. All right, look at the bare walls. That is this graph that we're looking at. We're not looking at SPL. Now we're looking at how long the notes linger around in the room. And now we're talking about time. So this green right here, these notes are hanging around in the room longer with the bare walls or no absorption on the wall at all than the actual absorption panels are right here. So that's what we want to see right here. So now when we take a look at the scatter panels, which was a louder SPL than both of those all together, and we're going to compare that. We're going to take the uh, bare walls out. Well, no, we'll leave it in for now. So here's the scare scatter panels. If we add the scatter panels, look what happens with the scatter panels. It actually is smoother than the absorption. Here's the absorption right here. The scattering panels made that higher end a little more smooth. And guess what? It's not loud like this absorption. These notes are not hanging around as long in the room as this bare wall right here. So we are still smoothing out the room with the scatter panels and the actual SPL is louder. So we're louder with these same frequencies, but more control with the scatter panels on here. We, we are not truly diffusing, but we're scattering. We're taking those frequencies in the room and we're breaking them up into smaller pieces so they dissolve faster. They're dissolving in the room faster. So we'll 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 do the comparison like granulated sugar versus powdered sugar. So when you dilute, when you put water or you put either one in water, the powdered sugar is going to dissolve faster because the particles are smaller. Same thing here was happening with the scattering panels that those frequencies are being broken to smaller pieces which are making them dissolve in the room just that much quickly hmm hmm i don't know i don't know well it looks like the verdict may be out you know this is a, a huge room a hard to treat room a open concept area but according to the numbers and the numbers don't lie so numbers not really lying here the actual scattering ability of the scatter plate that's on the absorption panels is basically doing no harm to the absorption panels themselves. So what I'm seeing is it's working just as well as the absorption panel, but actually giving us a little uptick in performance as far as giving us a little bit more SPL without making the frequency response in the room go haywire. So it's giving us more energy but more control energy. I'm sure that if these panels were two inch, four inch, or even six inch, you get an even more benefit. So it'd be interesting to, to test to see actually uh, how those perform with the thicker panel. So, you know, right now I can't really hate on the scattering or the designer scatter panels. So, and I'm sure that the actual diffuser type, the ones that are actually uh, made with the actual binary kind of um, design in it, they're probably going to do a little bit better job with it. So, 
hey man, I'm, you know, take it for what is worth. That's what I'm saying right now. Now, so I'm going to let you decide or let you be the judge on whether or not these scattering panels or these scattering combo panels actually make an audible difference. So as you saw in our graph, it's not a whole lot of difference. So we don't know if it's going to be audible or not. Hey man, that was a pretty cool experiment and we, have, we were able to A-B test just by taking the scattering panels on and off really quickly, man. So, hey, I'm just a mad scientist out here trying to get my ideas out of my head. Hey, if you like stuff like this, please consider subscribing to Genius Home Theater. And don't forget to stick around to the end to see how I permanently or semi-permanently mount these scattering panels and the finishes that I use. I think you're gonna like a couple of them really cool, all right? Unfortunately, experimentation is not cheap. So I'm here to help. All right, so that's it for now, man. Let's get out of here. This is Genius Home Theater. My name is Ron, and I will see you on the next one.